Good morning. Good morning of uh, 8th of September, Sunday. And uh, I'm on uh, Mount Baldy Trail. Uh, the trailhead is uh, along the Highway 40. You just park on the side of the road and start climbing up. We'll be doing in and out. Started at around uh, what 8:35 uh, or so. It's just at the first uh, 10 minutes, warming up. <laughs> but uh, it's uh, steep right from the from the beginning. With me is Diane today after quite a while, and uh, this is going to be a good uh, scrambling day today. I haven't done a whole lot of scrambling in the last few weeks. I had been doing some hikes, but not a real scramble. So this would be a test of uh, my old joints and muscles. Let's see how it goes. So. So about 1.6k into the hike and uh, we are on the scrambling section at the moment, pulling ourselves up. I could have gone on the right side, but uh, right side means somewhere over here uh, where you can avoid this scramble section. You might try that on the way down, but at the moment we are just uh, going up on this uh, scramble section and uh, it's uh, turning out to be quite windy at the moment I think that so far we have gained about uh, around 400 meters of elevation that's uh, Yates somewhere over there with the little hut at the top barrier lake and uh, then Diane and then So we just uh, down climbed that uh, interesting uh, section. <laughs> a little bit sketchy when you climb down. Little tiny little ridge, a little bit which is quite narrow. And then a few steps here, which are a bit sketchy. But uh, you have to be careful. The one which uh, the track which does not involve this boulder climbing that is way down uh, and that goes like this and then you can see that one from here and then I think it, it parallels with this boulder it takes you all the way so but on the way up we are taking a scramble route We are at the final, final push of our Baldi and I uh, just wanted to show you the views from here. Barrier Lake, 
and uh, the mountains behind it. Look at the turquoise color of the lake and the river behind it. The mountains. That's the boulder we came on the uh, climber's right side. A little bit challenging, not a whole lot. And since then, after you cross this trail, you need to come up, and then it's like make your own trail kind of thing. And uh, then we are heading up here. I think I would say another half an hour to 45 minutes. Is that right, Diane? Uh, so let's hope everything goes well. But over here, you can find the trail sometimes. But then it fades out, so you have to make your own way up. Okay. Yep, yep. No, only before the snow. Wow, look at the views. So just to give you a little bit of perspective of our route, so all the way over there you can see the first hump, that was basically the crux, I can zoom that one in. Yeah, so that was the crux, we passed that one, then we started with, then we took our ridge keep coming keep coming and then there was this second hump which is right here so we didn't uh, go all the way up that hump we just um, traversed it from the climbers right side and then after that it's uh, uh, like uh, another climbing up climbing up and then we reached our summit here So we just came down from the final summit. This is basically the final summit. And uh, right from, uh, you can say this tree, it's all like going up with, uh, you can find a trail for 10 meters, then it fades away, then find another trail fades away. So you have to make your own trail. It's quite, quite a scramble up and walking on the small pebbles. For me, going up was not a big deal, but coming down was quite challenging. Uh, but I'm glad that uh, we made it safe and sound over here, where we are standing at the moment. But uh, yeah, this is the final, final push. So 12.18, oh sorry, 2.18, almost two hours. Uh, and we are back in the parking lot. It was quite an entertaining hike. There were some sketchy sections. We took the scramble section on the way up and then on the way down we took the scree section, which was not that bad. Uh, but yeah, the scree is, uh, at certain places is really, really bad. So you have to be careful on your footwear and how you manage the, the poles. So poles, in my opinion, are quite required particularly when you're coming down because uh, it's steep and uh, scree and little stones are just like pebbles and you can't uh, 
control those ones. So be careful. But uh, overall, yeah, wonderful hike and yet another beautiful day in the mountains.